Hey guys, this is Ron from Seeker of the Stars and welcome back to my channel. So as promised, here is the 2R or almost 2R version of me, Joy, Arthur Pentagon from Fate Gun Order slash Fate Prototype. And he's currently actually up available for summoning until today, until the until March 16th, I think. And you can get him in the Child of Boys collection. It's the first time he's releasing. I think the next time you get him would be in the lucky draw for the new year, I think, if they're actually gonna do that for NA. Other than that, you might get, I think the next time you get him would be in the white day next year. But yeah, so this is me drawing him as a catalyst, or drawing him to serve as a catalyst to make him arrive in my game. He did, thankfully. So my catalyst worked, which is great. <laughs> and since the summoning is still available as of recording, and I should upload this video right away, so it's still available. But um, I still, he still should be available. I hope you get him. I hope that just by watching this, you get him somehow. <laughs> I impart all of my luck regarding Arthur Pendrick on over to you. <laughs> and whoops. The, my phone. I hit my phone. Anyway, um, this is actually the longer version. As you can see, it's an hour and 30 minutes. I did release a shorter version last Wednesday. I would suggest that you watch that if you want a shorter, more normal video. I compressed the video a lot. It's a lot more sped up. I cut out a lot of the parts that seem more redundant and monotonous. I also talk more about the process me drawing this piece um, about Arthur Pendagon in general. So that's what you'll get over there. It's more condensed, more more precise, more structured, I guess. Uh, I won't be talking through the entire video over here since an hour and 30 minutes. I mean, just talking for 30 minutes already wrecks havoc on my voice in general, I, so I won't be doing that. But in this video, you actually will get a footage of me trying to summon Arthur at the very end so you can actually check that out once the video is done or it's actually at the end of this video. I just won't say what time code it is because I don't even know myself. <laughs> so in that clip I show the terminal up until the summoning and I did switch out the audio a little bit because I was actually in the office and I was summoning for Arthur. Like the moment I got to the office, I sat down, opened my work laptop, and then I opened Fake Grand Order and tapped the summon button. So I switched out the audio because at one point you actually do hear some talk uh, regarding work. So I did cut that out. Um, I switched it for the actual Fake Grand Order official audio. Uh, it's from the original soundtrack disc, so it's the same audio more or less. Um, but you actually will hear more or less my reaction when I do get Arthur. And <laughs> it was great. I mean, you can hear me flailing, and you can see the screen and me flailing a little bit. And you'd hear my co workers, my teammates' reactions when I started like flailing my arms a little bit because I got Arthur <laughs> and all of that. So, what else? Okay, I guess I should mention this is actually a bit of a grind to finish. I haven't drawn digital, 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 <laughs> digitally in six months, according to the last footage I had. So it took me quite some time to get back into drawing digitally, and I accumulated 24 hours worth of footage total. So that does include like my setup time, my end time, me saving the canvas over and over again, uh, my apps crashing, me going through Spotify, me looking for references. It's all there. It's all here supposedly. I did cut that out still so that it's, you know, less hard to watch, I guess. Um, but other than that, you actually do see almost the entire process. So you see most of the sketching. And as you can see, I actually went through three layers of sketching. And then I did the line work, which actually kind of grew to be a little bit useless since I did opt for a more painterly style with this one. I know I'm not quite at the painterly style just yet, 
but I'm starting to implement techniques that I want to avoid reliance on line art. It's the same thing that I'm doing with my traditional works where I'm not using the pens or the, the fine liners as much as I would in the past. So I want my shadows and my highlights to stand for themselves, to create the shapes in the piece. So I've been trying to do that for digital digital works as well. Um, other than that, other than that, I don't really have much else to say. If you want my full commentary, and actually do ask if you really do watch that other video, it's all there. I hope that you enjoy me slightly spazzing out at the end of the video because I got Arthur Pendragon. And I do hope that you enjoy. Uh, yeah, and I'll see you around.
Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna roll anywhere.